plaintiff wants her preacher friend to stop dressing like a homeless person and dress like a man with a plan. Now, Mark, yes. are you an officially ordained minister, and if so, to which church? I'm officially ordained as a Jesus Christian, and, that, and I started the church, and it's God's church. We're all, you know, there's one church. I don't need to have a title to be a, you know, Do have you a... Do you want to belong to a church? The church. Uh, my, my cell, on my church right here, church is just a bunch of ple people who believe in God. It doesn't need a building and doesn't need four walls and a roof. So you have ordained yourself as a minister? God has ordained me. Okay, so God has ordained you as a minister. Yes. And what is your mission? What is your ministerial mission? Who do you preach to when you preach? I preach to everybody, especially those who need to know that they're loved, that they're cared for. Who are your constituents? Who are the people that you're talking to? I'm Who talking to everybody, and, and the God teaches me to tell everybody to listen. You have gifts to give, you give them to everybody. It's up to that person whether they want to accept them and open them. So have what you you're wearing, is this what you normally wear, which I can see is basically a bathrobe, four or five layers of different kind of sweaters. It's not a bathrobe, Your Honor. It's just a regular robe. Oh, okay. Robe. You know, the outfit, the, just the clothes, there are a lot of layers because I need, like I said, there's cold times, there's warm times. It's also about comfort. It's about not caring. You know what I mean? I don't mm -hmm. need to have the, the okay. veil of any. I used to be, you know, a pretty snazzy dresser, a clothes horse, if you will, and it was just nothing but a burden and a weight. It took money away from what the money I could give to, to other people. What was your, what did you used to I've do? done everything. I was a dancer. I was a, well, a, a sad what? to say. Hold on. Back that would be the up. King David I had, period. Though. Yes, I had, <laughs> da David danced with the light for the Lord. However, I had a nice, I was blessed with a nice, figure, nice yes, body, I does. keep myself shape, I'm a vegetarian, I'm healthy. What yeah. kind of costume were you wearing when you were a dancer? What did it look like? I, I, I hate to say I have some evidence Fireman. here. Can we have evidence of what David's costume was like? I've this never is changed the my outfit name. that Mark used to wear when he was a dancer. <laughs> no. were, you a, were you a Chippendales dancer? I was, yes, Chippendales. So you were top of the top of the lot. I was right? very blessed. I was very loved to entertain people, but I'd rather now enlighten and educate them. What That's my was goal. the changing point in your life that changed oh, you Lord. from wearing nothing to like 15 layers of clo clothing? Uh, the change in my life was that I, I realized that as naked as I was there, I would appear naked before God one day. And I felt that the only time I ever wanted to be in a suit and tie again was perhaps when I was in my coffin. I would follow him looking you like You want to follow that? <laughs> okay, I just want to ask you one last thing. How many people in your life have you actually touched and changed from, say, their poverty to become more spiritual? I, I want to seriously understand how many people. Three words. Lord only knows. Okay, that's a very good answer. Okay, thank you very much. Shari, question over to Mark, please. I'm telling you, you I would have followed you butt naked, I'll follow you now. <laughs> <laughs> you you touching God. my heart in every place else, Lord. Thank you. But this is what I want to, I do want to say, because I love the Lord and you were just touching me. Amen. But also, too, in the Bible, Jesus dressed the way everybody else dressed in that time, in that time period. I know God bless you. God bless me. We got it. We got it. We here. But, but. But Jesus was was the man for all people back then, and yeah. that's the way he dressed because everybody did dress like that. Okay, now you can wear tight jeans and a muscle man shirt, and people gonna follow you. Who is all his people? He told the fisherman to drop everything to take the clothes on you, your but back. But if you so trying to, to lead the homeless people, take... you still gotta you still gotta meet with other people who Middle are gonna Eastern need to people, take you seriously. People, I love you. I love the homeless people. I love, I love you too. And if people. you keep saying looking at me like that, we gonna get all off the Lord. So I'm trying to keep it on the Lord because I'm in love. You. Ah. I love you, but I just don't care what I wear. I care about what's within, and that's how you can tell the truth of who I am. Okay, thank you very much. Sam, over questions over to Mark, and let's keep it short and succinct. Mark, yes, sir. can't God be a, is he a bad dresser? I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, G God can be anything God wants to be. He's God. Allison, last question to Mark. Have you considered that sometimes you get in these situations where you are getting a message that you may be choosing to ignore? Uh, I'm thinking of the when when a suit at the lawn asks for one's coat and giving one's cloak as well. Amen. This might be the time. I'll the give you the shirt. You, you want? Be going. Here you go. The robe. I'll you can have the robe. Take some more stuff off. Okay. Yeah. You can yeah. have yeah. Yeah. What's going on? What else is going on? Okay. Hold on. Put it on the side. If you, you ask for my like. cloak, I'll give you. I, you ask for an I, answer, I give you my robe too. I think a wardrobe change is in order, but I think I would keep the hair and the beard because it's really cute, actually. I mean, it's just adorable. It's got David Crush feel. It's a little wacky. I'm willing to. I'm willing to try something. Okay. I think you're very wacky, but I kind of like it. Something gauzy. I'm unique. I'm not wacky, but like. <laughs> all right. I think I've had all the facts pretty much put in front of me. Um, it's a very difficult and tough decision. Okay, Mark. Please step forward and to the style spotlight. Oh, and it's great because it's going to glow. Verdict. So it's like perfect. If you want.
to provide the biggest impact possible to people on all different levels, initially, you need to earn their respect. And to be truly spiritual, Mark, you need to allow other conflicting thoughts. You need to be open in this life to what other people think because that is true spirituality. That is true growth of the soul. So just from the perspective of learning to grow within, I announce in this case, for heaven's sake, your wardrobe is a sin. You are nicely guilty. What I want for you is as follows. All we're going to do is we're just going to tidy up your hair. I don't want to take the strength out of you. We're going to tidy up your beard. You've got a great physique. We've seen it here. We know what we're working with. And all we want to do is put you in some deconstructed, softer, more approachable clothing that will bring out an approachable part of you because we want to communicate with you. But at the moment, for a lot of people, honestly, you look scary. Trust me that you will reach more people more of the time and your work will increase a hundredfold. We wish you well and we look forward to seeing you in a more presentable and approachable manner. This case is now closed. Thank, Thank you very much. Everyone. God bless you. Well, in a case that had an awful lot going for it, the defendant has been found lightly guilty. What is your reaction to what has just gone on here? Uh, I'm the one who has the message. And while his honor, this is his courtroom, my courtroom is the world out there, the world of style, the world of people, the world of what they wear and who they are. And that, you know, to look homeless or to look like a disciple or to identify with the impoverished poor people, those are the people that I have to, you know, answer to. What about the feeling that, I mean, the judge had the impression, and I know other people here have too, you look scary to some people. You put them off. How do you respond when, when people say you look scary? I give them a big hug and tell them I love them. And yeah, I would do the same thing for your honor. a lot of people are too scared honor. to talk to you, you know? Well, a hug and uh, loving, you know, a good hug sometimes doesn't take words. It speaks See, a thousand does, he words. He doesn't hear very much, does he? Well, he's a very compassionate man, very passionate. I'm so proud of him for being willing to give what the judge has suggested a, a try. A this try. is a I very but big I'll try. step. Okay. Mark Anthony okay. DeBello. Right. Okay. Thank you very much. Our, uh, our uh, holy uh, <laughs> stylists are waiting for you right now, and they're going to see what they can do, okay? Okay. Thank you. This, Thank you. This is really going to be interesting. This is great. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay, good luck. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. And that will bring this case to a close. <laughs> Earlier, as I'm sure you'll recall, we met a chap who wants to be a man of the cloth. But the judge, however, ordered him to clean up his look so he could at least become a bit more approachable. Well, let's see now if his look has gone from homeless to handsome. Here he comes. Absolutely another man. Mark, you're sending shivers up my spine. All we've done is we've tidied you oh, up. Man. We've put you in some relaxing clothing. I don't feel good about it. I feel like I'm, being, I'm ready to be persecuted here. This is Mark, not me. Mark. This is not who I am. Listen to me for one moment. I'm just going to ask everybody in the court here. Does this man communicate to you more now or before? I want a show of hands of who it communicates with. Show of hands, please, of who you think communicates. Well, Mark, you've touched another 30 people today in just one moment. So that's the sentiment that we take you with. We respect your spirituality. And actually, we haven't done all that much. You look That's great, Mark. What do you think? He looks fabulous. Please, speak it to Mark. It took five years in the making. No, it took no. a lifetime to convert somebody who was happy okay. where they were, but I feel you've dressed me up in a robe to mock me. Well, you I can feel. always take them off and put back the clothes that you came with before you left. That's not going to be a problem for us. And Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you. We wish you luck, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you, too. And that will wrap it up for another session of Style Court for now. I'm Doug Llewellyn reminding you that if your mother puts those little gnome guys all over your yard, don't suffer in silence. Look at her and say, yo, mama, you're going to Style Court. <laughs>